Hey guys, this is Catherine Donovan. Um, where to begin with this one? Hmm. I thought maybe today I would like to share something. You know, I never really thought about dating or anything, and I don't want to date right now, but I just want to point out if I'm looking for a guy, I am. Um, there are so many qualities that I'm looking for. If you guys looked at my Catherine the Fury podcast, I <laughs> I actually talked briefly about what I see in a guy while I was ranting about uh, a certain pop star. <laughs> but um, I'm not trying to sound like um, a jerk or anything if I'm saying this, but I'm trying to be honest. Like if I am looking for a guy. Um, yeah, that's the, that's what I'm looking for, okay? That is exactly, exactly what I'm looking for in a guy, okay? <laughs> yeah, um, all right. I know it has to be about looks, but not always about looks but yeah I really do want a good-looking guy it doesn't matter what eye color he has uh, I don't care about eye color whatever's fine um, yeah it doesn't matter it doesn't matter they all come in shapes and sizes but I mean I wouldn't mind if he had tan or light skin and I know I'm gonna sound really racist but it's just me. It's just me. Okay? But I, I wouldn't mind light or tan. And besides, I find other races to be... I don't, I don't mind them at all. I mean, but I'm kind of different and I wanted to do it the old-fashioned way. But I always consider different people of different race to be like acquaintances and friends. Why am I even talking about this? Ugh. Moving on. Sorry. I really don't want to cause any controversy. <laughs> um, but I have no problems with other people if they like that kind of stuff. But anyway. Alright. Um, uh, and, okay. Also, <laughs> traits. Traits of my perfect guy. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, let's see. He's got to be kind. He's got to be respectful to everyone. He also, um, he's got to have a little bit of patience. Okay, a lot of patience. <laughs> um, um, he's got to have a good heart and not be selfish. And, um, I mean, if he's, um, self-conscious about his flaws, I wouldn't care. I wouldn't. I really, really wouldn't. <laughs> and he's got to be a little bit taller than me, but not too tall, because, oh, God, no, no. I, I don't think I can handle a giant. Not that I'm against people who are tall or short, but if they're like average height, I wouldn't mind that. Compared to my petite size. <laughs> no, I'm serious. If you guys actually meet me in real life, you could see that I am a real, real peanut. Like, I'm really tiny. No, I'm not tiny like a little person. But I'm like, yeah. Uh, but if I wear shoes, it'll make me a little taller, but I don't think I would look good in heels. And besides, I never wear heels. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> moving on. He's got to be modest. He can't be too flashy. If you want to know what I mean, um, modest. He just can't reveal everything or brag about everything or be a little too flashy, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I know. I know. He's got to have modesty. <laughs> oh, God. 
Alright, um, what else I'm thinking? He's got to have a helpful nature. He's got to be nice and polite. I already said that. Um, like, and he would accept me for who I am outside and in. And, um, and he would be very honest about something, but not too brutally honest. I know I can be brutally honest, but uh, no, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> not, I mean, honesty is a good thing, but brutally honest, like, sometimes I can be, I don't think so, but I'll try my best to be nice. I may sound blunt, but, ah, uh, what the heck, if, if he is a little blunt, then okay. And having a little honesty, fine. Um, and here's the one thing I am going to remember. He cannot be abusive. Like, one minute, he's loving, sweet, nice, kind. But if he turns into an arrogant jerk-off or someone who just doesn't care for other people, no. Not really. Also, this is going to be my biggest pet peeve. And I've heard a lot of girls have to deal with, um, with guys like this. Um, I don't want my guy to expect me to do all of the work. I believe I deserve better. And I want him to just see me for that. I know this guy I'm thinking about is going to be really hard to find, but I want, I want traits to make my heart flutter, but also... I want him to be a really enduring person that he can deal with me and not tell me to deal with every single thing when it comes to my hypersensitivity to loud sounds because I have a really bad trauma and he do and I don't want him to force me to do anything I don't feel comfortable with uh, no way I also want him to be protective very very protective not overly protective like a parent but protective and yeah and something that my mom would approve of and sometimes i want to sneak off with hint hint wink wink <laughs> and also some someone who who would be pleasing for me if you get that term. <laughs> yeah, I know. I sound like a bad girl, but hey, a good girl's got to have a little bad side. <laughs> also, um, I want him to have good morals. Mm, I don't want him to be an alcoholic or a drug addict. Or worse, have a lot of gangster friends. I know there's some girls out there that have boyfriends who have those kinds and they are like troubled. Not like wannabe gangsters, oh no, no, no. But the real ones, the troubled kind, oh no. Don't even go there. Don't even go there. Mm -mm. Nope. And he thinks he has the right to push me around when, he, when his friends are there or not. Nope. I am not going to be somebody's toy or someone to push around or hit absolutely not I was a victim of child abuse I'm not falling for it nope I'm not going through the same thing and also you guys are gonna think oh she sounds so superficial let me say this because I know you're, you people are gonna think I'm being superficial let me just say this. I want also this perfect guy to have a lot of money. Now you're probably wondering why would you want someone with a lot of money? To help support? So we don't fall into financial troubles? I mean, my mom is like a divorced woman and she went through financial troubles and she always tells us that don't fall into the same pattern like I did with this problem. Just 
don't even do it. And I understand, we all make mistakes, but... She just warns us not to fall into the same thing that she went through, which, that's confidential and private. None of your business. So, yeah. So, that's why I want a wealthy guy. A nice, handsome, modest, Mr. Not Abusive person of a guy. And respectful. That is it. Okay. Okay. So, there you have it. This is Catherine Donovan's perfect guy. Traits. Looks. Mm, yeah. So-so, yeah. I mean, yes. But also, like, it doesn't matter what his color eyes are or anything. As long as he's good looking. But if he's really having self-conscious like I do sometimes. Because I, I still feel a little self-conscious. <laughs> but I'm trying my best to see the best in me. Because there's a lot of people out there. And I had to deal with um, some admirers that I really didn't find attractive. And I felt really upset that other guys didn't find me pretty. But... Maybe it's because of my reputation. Oh well. I know I'm weird. I know I'm weird. But whatever. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. Thanks for listening to me blabber. So, I want to ask you. What's your perfect guy? What do you look for in a guy? Just his looks? His traits? Um... But also, like, it's not okay, it doesn't matter how good looking or how nice he is, the, the guy's gotta treat you good. Really, really good. He has no right to hit you. Got it? Okay. I haven't dated anyone, and I'm not looking for a date right now. Right now, I have to focus on being a writer and just doing the right things. But anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for listening and watching. I'm your hostess, Catherine Donovan. Let me know in the comments below and what you see in your so-called perfect guy. He doesn't have to be perfect, but whatever you see in him is perfect to you. <laughs> see you next time. Bye.